Good morning guys. Today I'm hiking around. As the temperatures are warming up, I'm going to get in my truck and start cruising. See if I can find any sandhill species today, like a eastern indigo, short tail of king snake, or maybe a southern hognose, possibly even an eastern hognose. This is their type of preferred habitat. Longleaf pine savanna with some herbaceous undergrowth maintained by fire as it did for 10,000 years. So let's see if we can find something. All right, guys, this is Dry March and Cooperi, or the Eastern Indigo Snake. I might have butchered that scientific name, but I will tell you this. This is one of the most magnificent snakes we have in North America. They get up to nine feet long, and they are vicious predators on Eastern Diamondbacks, which are also the largest rattlesnake species. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Iridescent black with the bluish tinge to it. The reddish cheeks and nose. Very robust. Non-aggressive, harmless of course. These are the snakes you want to have around if you are afraid of rattlesnakes. Their typical defensive posture is to kind of S up and flatten their neck vertically. This is my first one ever. An absolutely awesome animal. Appears to be a male. It's got a nice thick tail back there. These snakes are specialists in the sand hill environments. They use gopher tortoise burrows to take refuge, as well as probably search for prey. This is their habitat. Longleaf pine, turkey oaks, bare sandy soil. Prescribed fires are very beneficial. I'm just absolutely stunned by this animal. I can't believe I'm looking at this. Oh man. These are federally protected, so you can't actually put your hands on them. That's why I'm not holding this snake right now. What a magnificent animal. neck is flattened vertically. There he goes. Enjoy your life, buddy. Now the eastern indigo snake formerly was found from southeast Georgia through peninsular Florida across the western panhandle into southern Alabama and southern Mississippi. However, they are known to be extirpated from southern Mississippi and Alabama, but there are captive breeding projects that are going on to reintroduce them back into the wild. Their main threats are habitat destruction as well as road mortality. So that concludes my video on the Eastern Indigo Snake. I hope y'all found it educational and enjoyable and maybe inspire you to go out and seek these animals to photograph and to observe. Unfortunately, as a federally protected species, I couldn't handle it and show you the disposition of them. 
They are very docile though. They don't tend to bite. So it's pretty unfortunate, but it's necessary to protect them from, uh, well, honestly, it doesn't necessarily protect them because people still run them over or collect them. And it's just the way things are. It's just one step to protecting them, that's all. So I'm gonna head out and get back home. I will see y'all later.